today I'm talking about patience. Oh, we do not like that at all in human life. We don't like waiting, especially in today's world. We know what we want. We want it now, and we don't want to wait. The sooner, the better. But sometimes the sooner, the better is not right. You put cookies into the oven, and then a minute later, if you take them out and try to eat them, they're not ready. And a lot of life is that way, too. I've been that way before when I first tried to get into ministerial school. I was turned down. There was only a select number that were picked, and I wasn't part of the group. The second year, I didn't get in. The third year, I got in just at the last moment. Turned out that period of frustration and waiting was the best thing that ever happened to me. I was able to continue my studies, and I was able to to go higher in my ministerial career than I would have ever, ever accomplished had I gotten in when I, of my human being self, wanted to. It has been said the key to everything is patience. You get the chicken by hatching the egg, not by smashing it. Here's what it says in the Bible in Psalms 130, verse 5. It says, I wait for the Lord. I wait, and I put my hope in God's work. The Bible instructs us over and over again to quietly wait for the Lord. And as busy folks in today's life, we rarely do that. We have too few hours in the day, and therefore we not only pressure ourselves, but we put pressure on God, too. We find quietly waiting for God to be very difficult indeed, because, as I said before, we know what we want, and uh, we want it sooner than later. But God operates according to God's perfect will. And that is a whole different timetable than ours. God sees the larger picture than we could ever comprehend in mind. And God always brings God's plans to perfect timing so that the best possible can happen in our lives. And I'll tell you something, we can push and push and push, and sometimes we can get a perceived good. Oh, I've done that so many times. And it has not been fully developed. It hasn't been ready. And all your pushing and striving is uh, just not going to work. It will just exhaust you. If you're wise... You'll trust in God's plans, even when they differ from your own. When you are patient in all things, you must also be patient with your loved ones. And that's sometimes a difficult thing, too. Patient with your families, your friends, and your co-workers. You must also be patient with yourself, knowing that you are still in development, still in a state of becoming, and your creator is not done creating you yet. God works out perfect plans if we let God, and that's the way it should be. I pray that you have the very best in your life. And to have the very best in your life, I also pray there is a divine order in the timing of that best when it comes. I pray that it's fully developed, fully ready. God bless you, and have a wonderful, fully developed day as you live it in patience.